Good morning, friends and family. Um, little garden update. Uh, I don't know what the day is. Uh, sometime, sometime in May, like the 13th or something like that. I don't know. But I really want to show you what's going on. Um, came out this morning after I uh, wasn't feeling well earlier in the week, so I didn't really come out and uh, check out the garden too much. Wow, what a difference. Um, check this out. My new addition to the, uh, can I say farm? Nah, it's just a backyard. Uh, my new addition is a Concord grapevine, which I've been looking for for a while. I'm gonna get this guy in the ground, hopefully either today or tomorrow. Beautiful, love Concord grapes. If you've never had them, please try them when you see them in the store. And would you look at that? Right next to it, lemon guava tree. Look at all those guavas that are going to ripen. Love that. It's fantastic. Not much going on with the Patanga tuba. I had a lot of blooms. There's some, um, there's what's left over from them. There's a couple little buds, but no fruit yet. I've heard that you have to have a second plant in order to, to get some fruit off of it. So maybe I'll pick one up one of these days. Um, cherry, to, cherry of the Rio Grande, looking nice, but no fruit. Java de Caba, no fruit. Blueberry vine. I, I, actually, I guess they're not vines, they're bushes. Blueberry bush, freaking loaded. Actually have to harvest today. Isn't that nice? Here's my Australian fingerling lime. Little itty bitty limes on there. See, there's one right there, whoops. So it's just a matter of time, hopefully, before they ripen and everything is good. Uh, not much with the red guava. I don't see any any blooms or anything on it, but a lot of new growth that's looking really good. My pomegranate is looking fantastic. Over here, there's my cuttings of my original passion fruit vine. Doing nicely up against the fence. Banana coming back to life with a little pup down there. Anytime you see a pup, you know that the corm, which is the root ball of the banana plant, is doing well. It's healthy. This is my mature passion fruit vine. And look at this. It's starting to bloom for the summer harvest. We've got a few of them here. They're not open right now because it's not sunny outside, but, uh, but they will be opening up pretty soon. Look how much my newer passion fruit vine. Um, this is a purple passion fruit. Um, this is growing quite nicely, and I'm very pleased to see that it will be blooming and giving fruit this year. Look at that. I need to water it right now. You can tell, see how the leaves are curling? Yeah, it's, uh, it's a little thirsty. So I'm going to water and feed these guys today. Uh, when I feed them, at this time of year, I use uh, just a mixture of some compost tea and fish emulsion in water. And just, uh, just pour it on. It seems to do a great job. So who am I to question whether or not it's, it's good or bad? Here's my mango. And the flowers have all been serviced by the bees, and there's the little teeny tiny mangoes starting up. N only two flower cl clusters this year. I've got this one down here, and then this big cluster here. So that looks to be about it. But the rest of the tree is looking pretty good. All the new growth looks good. Um, all of this damage that you see here, this is all wind damage. We have horrible dry Santa Ana winds. Um, that actually be, may be more than wind damage. Uh, but, uh, but otherwise, I mean, the tree looks pretty healthy, so, so we'll see. Might have to give it some, um, some sulfur to help with the alkalinity of the soil. They prefer a little bit more of an acid soil. Let me rephrase that. Uh, I believe mangoes, they prefer a non-alkaline soil rather than acid. White sapotes. Tree's looking really good. Um, I'm afraid that I'm probably going to have to 
stake it really good as these guys ripen. Hopefully they ripen. A lot of new growth, looking really good. This is the piece de resistance. This is my pineapple guava tree, which did nothing last year. Didn't grow, didn't do anything, just kind of sat there. And it came out with all these little buds, which I didn't know if they were leaves or if they were flowers, but look at that, they are flowers. Now the thing about this is these flower petals are edible. Mmm, super sweet. Oh my God, so good. Oh, and the birds love them, supposedly. Oh yeah, look at this, it's gonna be great. Yeah, some of these flower petals, see that one's burned a little bit, but it doesn't appear to to bother the, um, the flower too much. So look at this, I'm gonna have some, uh, some fruit this year. This is fantastic. Oh. The jujube is loaded with flowers. If it's anything like last year, virtually all these flowers are going to end up being fruit. Look at all of them. Tree looks great. Lots of new growth this year. Um, approximately, ooh, approximately two feet of growth. That whole stem right there going up is all brand new growth this year. Look at these grapevines and the bougainvillea on the other side of them. Grapevines are doing fantastically well. This is the flame seedless and there are grapes everywhere. Hello, neighbor dog. Look at that. Looking to have a very nice harvest. Unless, of course, the um, squirrels get to them. Here's my Thompson seedless. This is my Natal plum bush. For years, this is a very mature bush. It was here when I moved into the house almost 20 years ago. Um, for years, I didn't know that the red berries off of this, eh, I don't know that they're berries, probably fruit. Um, the red fruit off of this were actually edible. That's the flowers. They smell like plumeria. Wonderful smell. And speaking of plumeria, Look at that. We're going to get our first blooms off of the plumeria plant this year. And it's fun. It's fun watching all this stuff. So that's it for today. Um, it's kind of exciting to walk into the backyard and see what's going on with all plants. Hopefully we'll get some fruit out of them. Uh, obviously we will. I mean, the lemon guavas is loaded. Um, the grapes are loaded. So yeah, I'm definitely going to get some fruit. I did not show you guys the dragon fruit because yeah, they're, they're just, I don't know. I'm going to have to work on them. They're, they're being more of a challenge than I thought that they were going to be. Um, so we're going to have to check them out. I mean, they're growing, uh, they're growing new, new branches off of them, but they're not really doing what I expected. I need to prune them down a little bit so that there's a single trunk going to the top of the trellis. But um, we'll see. Until later. See ya. Bye.